I am all about ways I can get something for free in, ret- in legal and doing things where there's a trade-off. And I've shared the various crazy things I've done in the past to get stuff for free you'd have to pay for otherwise. And people are all ears right now being pressed financially from the overhang of the ugly inflation that we had for about 16 months. And so they're more receptive to ways to save money. I was reading a story uh, just a couple of days ago about how private labels are gaining market share in the United States where the retailers, the grocery stores, the rest have always wanted us to buy private label because they actually make higher markup on their store brands than they do selling the national brands. And you, in turn, save uh, typically 20 30% on your purchases. And that's fallen on deaf ears overwhelmingly in the United States. We have the lowest purchase percent rate in the developed world of store brands, which means the brand name manufacturers have been very successful at marketing why you should pay extra money for their brand names. But not so much right now. People are all ears looking for ways to stretch every dollar. And cell phone bills have become a big monthly expense for people. And one thing I want to say right off the bat, if this is you, hear me loud and clear. If you have been loyal to the same cell phone company forever and you have not shopped your plan even with them in forever, odds are you are greatly overpaying for your cell phone service. There are people that are creatures of habit that stay with the same brands year after year and pay so much more than other people that aggressively shop for the best deals. Now, I'm an extremist on this. Be aware, I am the opposite extreme. And so I try all kinds of freebies, and I'm getting ready to try one that we've talked about for a while on Clark.com, but I haven't actually tried it myself, and that's Text Now, which is a free cell phone service with unlimited talk and text in return for me putting up with ads on my phone. So you don't get any free data with that. If you want data, you have to pay for the data you use. And if you're a a data hog using enormous amounts of data, it's not going to be a deal for you. But there are lots of people who use minimal amounts of data or frequently or mostly Most of us, around 80% of the time, we're at trusted Wi-Fi with our cell phones. So we can get by with a lot less data than we might imagine. And there are people who are even willing to not have access to data when they're out and about because they do most of the time. So I'm going to try text now and report back to you. But if you don't want to wait for what I discover, you can be a guinea pig too because you pay absolutely nothing other than an upfront cost for what's known as the SIM card to go in your phone. You can transfer a port over the number you already have. Uh, You can get a new number, whatever you want to do. But the cost of the SIM ranges from a buck to I had to pay five bucks for it. And then I have the unlimited free talk and text. And on my screen, I've got the ads. And I am absolutely fine with that. I have a pattern, a history of signing up for these things and seeing how they go. I remember years and years ago, there was a company from Europe that came here that with free cell phone service and it was very difficult to use and eventually failed. And so that one didn't work out. We'll see if the text now has a sustainable business model that will give people free cell phone service. We recently talked about how you and I both used Freeway on the uh, to make long-distance calls back in the day. Try to, to explain ads. 
to anybody under yeah. like 35, mm-hmm. you used to have to pay for long distance. I remember once. Try to imagine that. You had to pay for long distance? And I remember you used a, con- when you and your siblings were having some conference calls together, you used a free conference call system, right? And there, yeah. you only, how many minutes did you have? You tell it better You got 40 did. minutes per conference call. Well, what we used to do is our mom, our mom had, she's, she died seven years ago, but she, the last 15 years of her life, had dementia. And I have uh, uh, two brothers and a sister, and we would have a monthly conference call talking through who was going to do this for mom and what's going on with this with mom and all that. Um, and so we would normally use my free service. And then if we went past 40 minutes, we had to start a new conference call. And my, my two brothers and my sister were like, this is ridiculous. I can't believe we got to dial into this thing again. Uh, but it was free. I think they there was some cursing, uh, calling you cheap something. Right? Oh yeah, there was there was some uh, choice words, but we were able to have those meetings at no cost. I'm willing to do stuff like that. You walk the walk for sure. 